Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Asadullah Ali Al Andalusi with a behind the scenes look at my article titled From Science to Scientism The Decline of Scientific Productivity in Islamic Civilization. As per the title, you can probably ascertain what the subject is about. However, I'd like to tell you my intentions behind doing this research as well as some uh, interesting tidbits. Well, first off, um, I've always been really interested in the philosophy of science and scientific history in general, uh, especially in regards to Islamic civilization. And one of the things that I've always been um, mostly curious about is why the decline of scientific productivity occurred in Islamic civilization. Um, because to be honest, there's not actually much information about it. In fact, the, the popular narrative that we have, uh, which has been peddled by Orientalists and some popular historians today, is the idea that internal factors alone led to the decline. And what I mean by that is, um, well, let me give you some background first. Well, the popular narrative suggests that around the Abbasid period, when the so-called translation movement occurred, where Muslims were translating scientific works, uh, specifically Greek works, um, it was the anti-religious, uh, you know, uh, rationalist, otherwise called the Mutezila, who were really promoting this movement, who were really uh, attempting to acquire scientific knowledge and to advance uh, scientifically. And then down the line, uh, most specifically the, the 11th century, um, the religious anti-rationalist elements in Islamic civilization led by Imam al-Ghazali uh, squelch all of that and then led us towards our decline, which uh, eventually blossomed in the 16th century. Now, while historians, there's a consensus among them that the golden age of Islam pretty much ended around the 16th century, early 17th, um, the rest of that narrative that I just mentioned has basically been falsified. There, there really is no support behind the notion that uh, the Mutezila had much to do with anything, uh, especially given the fact that they, were, they only ruled for 40 years in Islamic history, and uh, the golden age lasted basically outlived them as well. Not only that, but we found that the Golden Age basically started earlier than the Abbasid period with the Umayyad dynasty uh, under uh, Caliph Hisham bin Abdul Malik. During that period of time, Muslims were still relying on Byzantine and Persian currencies, uh, coins. And uh, Hisham bin Abdul Malik basically wanted the Muslims to be able to mint their own coins to become independent from neighboring empires. And uh, that's why he initiated uh, the translation of alchemic text prior to anything else. And of course, this led to a domino effect where Muslims then started to acquire uh, other Greek texts, translate them, modify them, and uh, build upon them. Uh, and this is how we actually got to the Golden Age, was primarily through an instrumentalist approach where Muslims utilized Islamic values, or for the sake of Islamic values, utilized science as a tool, a pragmatic tool towards getting what they wanted to facilitate the, the, the Islamic empire and their religious practices. Now, what I found through all of this, doing this research, um, is that while historians have generally found the external reasons behind the decline, such as the fall of Al-Andalus and the Mughal invasion, they really still don't know what the internal factors were. Uh, and I think I've actually stumbled upon something um, not only fascinating, but rather shocking. Um, I won't get into too much detail as to what that is right now, maybe in the next video. But uh, I do want to say that we're still in the research phase, and um, I am actually writing, so I'm hoping this will be done within a week or so. It's quite a big paper, and um, I'm hoping that this research will help to set a, or provide a historical precedent where we can actually look back and figure out how and why we were so successful scientifically and in technology and how we can get back to that period of time. So um, please make dua that uh, this is successful and that this can assist the ummah in that respect. Jazakallah uh, khair for listening to me ramble and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.